I'm an old school gamer, so if you were to plunk some platformer for the Genesis or Super Nintendo in front of me, chances are I will play until my fingers bleed. So when I watched Screw Attack's top 10 Genesis games and saw Rocket Knight Adventures, I quickly knew I had to have it. While I am still looking for this game, I did happen to stumble across its sequel at my local Goodwill. So the gist of this game is essentially the same as the first. You're a possum with a sword and a jetpack. I actually like what it says on the back of the box, and I quote, Feel the o power of the opossum. Yeah. Regardless, this game is pretty fun. The levels are inspired, the bosses take a little skill, but I think here we start seeing some of the uninspired J-pop ideas that are quite common in games now. First, there are giant mechs. Yeah, giant mechs. And they move on their own, so all you basically do is jump. And a good section of the game consists of platforming in this thing. Not very fun. Also, you might notice how they tried to give Sparks your hair in this one. What the fudge? I think they were trying to make him look more mature, but just ended up making him look like a Dragon Ball Z reject. Anyway, this game is good, it's so delicious and moist, but even without playing the first, I have a feeling that the original Rocket Knight Adventure is probably way better than this. I give it 3 coins out of 5. Be sure to catch me next time when I go over Beautiful Joe on the GameCube. Thank you.